Hello guys, it's John Ray from um, TechSpace and today we are going to be unboxing and setting up this brand new TNE scooter that we recently purchased from a company here in New Zealand. Um, the reason why we got this scooter is to upgrade from our current scooters that we've got. We've got two, my wife and myself, we've got two Segway F40 scooters which are generally known as entry level scooters and we wanted to upgrade to something that has got more power and more speed to go up hills especially that was important for us and also something with suspension so just something that i want to tell you guys about the tne brand so tne is a chinese scooter manufacturing company they started in 2014 they were founded in 2014 and they make commuter scooters and also off-road scooters. Um, just a couple of interesting facts that I found on their website. So they've got a 6,000 square meter manufacturing facility. They've got 25 production lines and they make or produce 10,000 scooters per month. This is now from the uh, commuter range and also from the off-road range so if you look at the box you'll see that obviously it's a little bit beat up um, we received it today and it's got these nylon straps that obviously would have kept it together um, the box together but yeah it seems like as it was carried by people the nylon strap just cut into the box so it's definitely evident to see that this box had a long route coming from China and then obviously um, being manhandled as it came into New Zealand. So what I'm going to do now guys is going to start unboxing the, um, the scooter and um, as we are going ahead I will mention some of the stuff that is interesting about this specific scooter that we've chosen. So it's got 11 inch tires, it's got dual motors, one on the front and one at the back. It's got a combined power of 3200 mm watt, so that means it's 1600 for the front one and 1600 for the back one. It's got dual hydraulic suspension, or dual hydraulic um, brakes. And also, it has quite front suspension. So, if I open it up, okay, you can come check quickly. All right, guys, so there you can see is the dual front headlights. And packaging seems to be on the thinner side of stuff from what I've seen online with other people that has unboxed some of their scooters. You just got these little pieces of foam that is protecting the scooter um, and as you can see it's not the, um, how can I say, probably the best packaging there is. But what I've also seen what other scooter manufacturers are doing at the moment, they are replacing this foam or polystyrene type of um, packaging with cardboard packaging which is obviously good for the environment um, it is recyclable and it's more sustainable but in this case TNE sent us with the regular foam type of packaging Now guys, as you can see inside of the box, this is a huge scooter. You've got your handlebars that is always um, packaged in a way that is usually um, held on by the stem. And that is for obvious reasons. You cannot package a scooter with the handlebar fully assembled as that will make either the packaging um, too big or it will possibly... Um, cause damage on the handles during logistics and flight towards the destination clients and countries. All right, so let's see if we can start taking some of the stuff out. So, as 
the little box that was on the deck. Um, if you open it up, you will see that it's got a TNE scooter instruction manual. And this specific scooter is the Q4 V6 model, which is one of the top of the range models. I believe there's only one model that is higher up than this one. And that is the TNE Prometheus, which has got a 3600 watt um, power, nominal power, and two um, also dual power system. And that one is also yellow. All right, guys, so we've got the instruction booklet. Just put that there. Then we've got a power adapter, and it's obviously got the New Zealand power plug um, connection. Then we've got the typical tool set that usually comes with these scooters. Usually the ones that are imported from China comes with this um, Allen key set. It's got a couple of Allen keys. It's got a couple of your genital Phillips and flat screwdrivers. It's got a couple of wrench. Um, Wrenches, it's got. Oh, I thought this was a bottle opener. <laughs> it isn't, but yes, so there is a couple of interesting items that you get on this little tool set that came with the scooter. Um, it's generally not of the best quality. I've heard the guys online say that it's not the best quality, but at least it's better than the average person will probably have. Um, in terms of tool sets available to them. So this will come in handy for most. Then guys, we've also got the power brick. Um, it's got a type of a slippery feel to it. A little bit shiny. It says XVE on it. It's probably just the brand of the charger. It says on here that it's got a maximum output of four amp hours so um, so yeah that's the charger brick and then you've got a little toolkit bag which this is also additional to the already tools that we've got oh inside there you will see you've got a couple of um hexes um lm keys Got small ones, big ones. All right, with this little tool bag, tool kit bag, type of a nylon material with a little zip. And that's what you've got there. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna try to do now is lift this scooter out of the box. Just what I wanna say is this is not a typical commuter scooter. This scooter is heavy. According to the manufacturing specifications, it weighs 35 kilograms, which is really, really heavy. Um, so this is typically not a scooter that you're going to walk around with easily, take upstairs, those kind of things. It's going to be difficult to do that with this scooter, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so let me try to get it out. <laughs> All right, so typically what you would try to do is, is to get the stem open so that the front wheel can obviously rest on the ground and you can lift up the deck or the battery areas from the floor. Right, so let's get some of these stuff out. All right, guys, so here you can see is the little LCD display. As you can see, guys, it looks like it's a little bit scratched. There isn't a protection form on it that I can see, which is a little bit unfortunate. But, um, but yeah, it wasn't this little type of um, bubble wrap. But, yeah, I can see there is some fine scratches on it. All right. Okay guys, I'm just removing and seeing 
what all this packaging and stuff is doing here. Um, there's a little QC card. Oh, it's just a little certificate TNE technology, little QC passed quali quali qualified certificate with a little bit of warning on the back. Just says here before riding, please read the manual carefully. Abide by all local traffic laws and country regulations. Please wear protective gear such as a helmet and knee and elbow gloves. It is forbidden to use on any rainy days to prevent rain from entering the scooter. So this is, they advise us not to use the scooter in the wet and the rain. Myself personally, I do not like to use scooters in the rain in any way because it just dirties it and there's too many electrical components that I feel might get, um, get damaged through water. So, um, so we typically try not to be caught in any rain or water. And then guys, they also say here, you must check the tire pressure before you ride and then also check the brakes before you ride. Now, interesting about this scooter as well, um, it does not have an app. So you cannot use an app for information, etc. on this scooter. So um, TNE doesn't have an app. And um, yeah, you're on your own in terms of that. You can use other apps on your phone to try to try and record um, data from um, travel distances or, or speed or anything like that. But TNE doesn't have an app. All right, guys. So let me just try to figure out what's going on here. Um, So, seems like, all right, okay. So it seems like it's got a very, very sturdy um, clamp system to keep your stem up. Um, right, I'm wondering if this Right. So, seems like that is the way for it to be and then it's got the locking mechanism keeping the stem in place so if you look on this side of the scooter guys you will see that it has a very durable kickstand it is mostly plastic material and it probably could have been of better quality but it's probably going to do what it needs to and as you can see the scooter feels fairly sturdy on its kickstand but guys if you stand back a little bit and you look at the scooter you will see that it's got significant size which is something that we were really looking for when we decided to upgrade our current scooters so if you come on this side you will see that the front suspension has got quite what looks to be spring and it might be like some sort of shock inside so there's one two three and four on this side and you've got quite a large tire as i said earlier you've got twin or dual disc brakes it's both hydraulic one in the front, one at the back. And it seems like this scooter comes with zoom brakes. Which is excellent. These brakes are supposed to be really good. And I'm very happy to see that. Alright guys, so yes, this is your 11 inch tires. You've got your dual um, headlights. And these things look like they're really going to shine brightly. From what I can see out of the package it doesn't look like there's any type of transport damages so that minimal um, packaging seemed to have really done a good job of protecting the scooter so if you look at the back here guys you will see that it's got a nice um, shock at the back which is adjustable so you'll be able to turn this and probably stiffen it up I'll just figure that out and just check you might be able to lift it up or lift it down so there is a little sticker 
protection sticker for the light and there's another one on the other side so I've just taken those off and wow this is really really beautiful guys it really looks like it's manufactured with strong materials these are very very stick and um, thick um, steel and everything looks really good if I can give you one tip guys just make sure that you always double check all of your nuts bolts and screws on your scooter when you take it out of the box these companies do have really good most companies have got really good quality um, assurance but it's always good just to double check and make sure that all of your screws and nuts and bolts and everything is fastened correctly okay so you've got your TNE logo um, TNE motivate yourself and as you can see guys there is your LED light strip bar which is probably going to be like a type of an RGB effect we'll see that when we put the scooter on the deck is also quite big yeah I just see that the um, it's a very very good non-slip material it's almost like sandpaper type of thing that they've got on here you've got the TNE logo and TNE is typically known for their colors which is blue um, orange and black that is typical colors that you can affiliate TNE scooters with all right guys so this looks really really good okay so there's another TNE logo on the stem there and the stem is quite thick um, so inside of this deck underneath you've got a 60 volt 26 amp hour battery system which they say is good for 70 kilometers depending on the rider's weight the weather conditions etc etc so i would realistically think it will probably get something more like 50 kilometers as we all know they usually do, the manufacturers usually overestimate or, or, or oversell their products a little bit. Um, the speed, top speed for this scooter is stated, the manufacturer is stated to be 80 kilometers per hour, which is heaps fast. I don't think anyone would want to go as fast on a scooter, but at least you know the scooter has got the capabilities to do that. Um, another thing with this scooter is, it's, um, like I said earlier, it's 35 kilograms and it's not going to be an easy weight transfer scooter and it does have different settings that we will look at later on and this is quite a nice system. So if you come up here, you'll see that this it literally just clicks in. You've got a very, very sturdy, got a very sturdy handlebar system that's going on here it was very easy to fill it up it just clicked in by itself and as you can see guys you'll just obviously put your your control systems and fasten them where it's comfortable for you so as you can see guys you've got your disc brakes so it seems like the left one will break the front and the back one no, so the left one will break the rear one and the right one will break the front brake so left back and then right will be the front all right guys so yes um as you can see here you've got your connection or your little button for your single or dual motors depending on how much power and speed you need you can just switch between the two it would have been awesome if there was an indication to show you what mode you are actually in my guess is that if you press the button there might be something that comes up on the lcd screen but if that's not the case then it, yeah you will obviously just be able to feel it through the power there's a, oh, there is, it seems like there is little turn signals as well, as you can see. And then you've got your little horn button as well, which I believe in these scooters are quite heavy. All right, guys. So let me quickly set it up. 
and tighten all the screws and then we will give you guys a look of it when it's fully set up. Okay guys, um, so this scooter has a extendable stem, meaning that there's three positions, if you just come over here you'll see there. So there's three positions that you can put your handlebar leg to whatever is comfortable to you. So as you can see, currently we've got it at the top one, we've got a middle one and then a shorter one. So um, let me just give you an illustration. There's also a locking screw mechanism where you will tighten it up after you've decided on which level feel comfortable for yourself. But just to show you how easy it is to slide it down. There we go. There's it on the second level and on the lowest level. For very short people, obviously. Um, so yes, I'm just going to put it back to the top level again. And then I'm just going to tighten the stem screw and lock it in. Right guys, so the new lock, I've adjusted that so it actually shines down to the road where it needs to be. Um, out of the box it was lifted up a little bit and it was um, shining into the sky. Um, yes, so um, just another thing about this scooter is it's got a maximum load capacity of 150 kilograms. So this scooter is ideal for larger people um, where weight might be a big factor on choosing a scooter. This one has quite a big load capacity, 150 kilograms is heaps and um, it will be perfect for those kind of people. Um, another thing is guys, the scooter has got dual charging ports. So if you look at the bottom here, you have got one and two charging ports. So if you've got two chargers, you can charge the scooter quicker. But obviously the scooter only came with the one. And I'm just going to illustrate to you how do you actually insert it. So this scooter works, and many of the similar scooters work in a certain um, pattern. So there is a pattern there that you can see at the top. And you just line that up with where you see the male going into the female. So I'll line it up. I see that the little um, cut out thing is there. So I'll just put it in. And then I will tighten it up with the screw. Then you can have your scooter charging. Just loosen it up again. Alright guys, so that is the scooter set up for my wife as she wants it. Um, we are going to show you guys how it looks during uh, darker um, scenes or, or at night um, with the lights. As you will see here guys, it's got a horn which is quite loud i'm just going to put it on quickly there you can see is the display it's got three gears gear one two and three it's currently sitting on the third gear it's got a speedometer it's got a battery level indicator and a timer so the router as you will see as you press the router the lights will go on as well all right it's quite a loud router it's not like the typical ding 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 one that you get on um, cheaper scooters and then you've got your light switch so if you put it on you'll see the lights going on and you'll also see the bottom LED strips going on there's an LED strip on this side and one on the other side as well if you come to the back you will see that it's got indicators as well so the indicator to the right and the indicator to the left and then when you hit the brakes you will see the brake light will come on as well all right guys so that is the unboxing and setup assembly of our new brand new or the wife's brand new team scooter and in the next part of the clip i'll just show you how it looks when it's darker and you can get an idea 
idea of how the speakers lights will perform in the mic. Okay guys, so this is the nighttime performance of the lights on this PME Q4 V6 scooter. If you come closer you'll see the lights has got quite like a little transformery look to it. It's got the, the actual light bulb with a reddish ring around it and it must say it looks quite cool. If you come to the top and you look at the little display, you'll see it looks brilliant at night. It's really visible. Um, we haven't been able to test it for daylight yet, but at night it really looks stunning. It's really visible, easy to see, easy to read. And then guys, you will see if we put the turn signals on, indicators, you'll see there's the left indicator and the white indicator and the LED strips on both sides, which means that the scooter will really be very visible in front of night and there is the brake light as well. Right guys, so thank you so much and please like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified whenever we upload a new video. And thank you for being with us during our first debut video on YouTube. Just one disclaimer that I want to say. I've bought this scooter with my own money. It wasn't sponsored or given to us by any company to review.